Accounting is the process of recording, classifying and summarizing all the business transaction. In order to debit and credit, you have some rule. You have one rule. So that rule is considered as a golden rule of accounting. If you are receiving the interest, then it is an income for the organization. If you are paying interest, it is an expense for the organization. So you all know the income and expense comes under nominal account. Hello everyone, I am Meghana from the Department of Commerce, lecturing in Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. We are in the session 1 of Unit 2, Subject Accountancy. In today's session, let us start with the Unit 2, that is Financial Accounting Process. In today's session, let us discuss with the Types of Accounting and Golden Rules of Accounting. So, in the last session, that is Unit 1, under Unit 1, we just discussed the meaning and definition of accounting. So, you all know the meaning and definition of accounting and concepts, conventions of accounting. So, in today's session, let us discuss with the unit 2 that is a financial accounting process. In this session, let us discuss only the classification of accounts and golden rules of accounting. In the further session, let us discuss with the concepts and problems on this concept. So, first one types of accounting. So, now we know the meaning of accounting. Accounting is the process of recording, classifying and summarizing all the business transaction. So here the concepts of accounting, accounting concepts say record only the monetary transaction. Now you know the concepts and convention as well as the meaning of accounting. So accounting is classified into based on the concepts and convention and meaning. So accounting is classified into three types. So let us discuss with the types of accounting. So, accounting is classified into three types, personal account, real account and nominal account. So, here personal account is account of a person. So, here personal account means account of a person. Here personal account includes all the persons, individual, organization, firms, artificial person as well as the person representative of a person. So, personal account includes individual person com company and representative representative person so here the accounting transaction for example if you purchase a goods from xyz so this you need to classify. So, purchase account here. You made a purchase. So, you have purchase. Purchase from XYZ. So, you have XYZ as well as purchase of machinery. You have machinery. So, three concepts are there. So, here you need to classify the first you need to identify the aspect. Here you have a purchase as well as furniture as well as a XYZ. So, here XYZ is a person. XYZ is a person that is individual or a person. So, here you need to classify the accounts. First, you need to classify the transaction. Then, you are going to record the transaction. In order to record the transaction, first you need to identify and classify the transaction. So, first one is personal account. Personal account is a representative person or individual company or artificial person. So, here you need to consider only classify the individual and person. Then, real account. Real account means all the assets and liabilities. So, here you have assets and liabilities that is cash as well as the tangible and intangible assets. So, here furniture, goods, machineries, plant and machinery, land and building, all the assets you are going to consider in real account. So, assets and real account includes all the assets and liabilities. Here you have goodwill, land and building, plant and machinery, furniture. So, all this comes under real account. So, if there is any in a given transaction, if you find any assets, then you will consider it as a real account. Then last one, nominal account. In personal and real only, you will consider all the person, individual, company as well as the asset and liability. The remaining thing is expenses and income. So, nominal account includes all the income and expenses. So, 
if any income earned or expenses for the company is considered as nominal account for example rent received rent paid commission received commission paid all this comes under nominal account so in a given transaction you need to identify all the income and expenses assets and liability as well as the person so this is the classification of accounts next one the classification of accounts can be it is an example for the classification of accounts now you should be able to classify this between the personal account real account and nominal account you know the furniture furniture is furniture is an asset so asset means here asset means real account furniture account is a real account reason account of an asset next one stationary account stationary account is a nominal account why is stationary is considered as nominal account here account of an expense so when you purchase a stationary so it is an expense for the organization so it is an account of expense so it is considered as a nominal account then prepaid insurance account prepaid insurance account is a representative person account here insurance means you are paying insurance to represent a person so for the individual you are going to pay the insurance so it is a representative of person representative of person so it is considered as person means individual or person person comes under personal account reason account representing the person that is the insurance company to which insurance has been paid in advance so here you are paying for insurance company it is company as well as it represents the individual or individual person so it comes under personal account next capital account capital is also a personal account how the capital is considered as a personal account capital means a owner to start the business he brings some assets furniture plant and machinery land and building any assets or cash to start the business so here even though he brings the cash land and building furniture even though all this considered as an asset but it is capital is considered as a personal account because it represents the assets which bring from the owner it represents the person that is owner so it represents the owner owner is a person or individual so here you will consider capital as a person so the company has liability liable to pay back the capital to the owner so here you consider the owner or the person who brings the capital so the capital is considered as personal account you all know the concept of under accounting concept you have separate legal entity separate entity so it say owner and business is two separate entity so you will consider the capital bring from the person or the owner is considered as a person account so personal account it represents the person so proprietor account or that is the account of person it represents the proprietor or owners account so it is considered as personal account next one interest account here interest is nominal account either interest received or interest paid if you are receiving the interest then it is an income for the organization if you are paying interest it is an expense for the organization so you all know the income and expense comes under nominal account so it is an account of an expense if you are receiving interest then it is an income if you are paying interest means it is an account of expense so interest is considered as nominal account next one buildings account building building is an asset so it is comes under real account building comes under real account it is an account of asset account of an asset next one purchases account purchases account it is real account it is also be regarded as a nominal account either this purchase this purchase you can consider as a real account that is purchase means you will purchase any assets for the organization if you consider the assets then it became purchase became real account if you consider the money paid for the purchase so while purchasing any assets you need to pay money so if you consider that money or if you consider that process purchase process it is an exchange of goods and money so here if you consider that process then it comes under nominal account so here account of an goods that is 
account of asset or account of purchase and expense. Purchase means it is paying money that is expense. Next one cash. Cash is a liquid asset. So it is a real account. Asset comes under real account. Then it is account of an asset. <coughs> Next one bank account. Bank account is also personal account. Personal account means bank account it represents the person. Bank account represents the person account. Bank is also a financial institution. So it comes under personal account. So account of a bank. Account of a bank that is account of person. Then sales account. Sales account you can consider it as a real account or else you can consider it as a nominal account. It is similar to the purchase. If you consider the goods, then it is considered as real account. If you consider the process, the sales, is, if you consider the sales, then it is an income for the organization. So then it comes under nominal account. So account of a goods, that is account of an asset. So it became real account or else account of a sale, that is income, then it is considered as nominal account. So all this is an example for the personal, real and nominal accounts. So in a similar way, you should be able to identify all the transaction or all the accounts. So if they are given you a furniture account, you should say furniture is an asset. So it comes under real account. So then stationery, stationery is an expense comes under nominal account. Then prepaid insurance, prepaid insurance is a representative person. So it comes under personal account. Then capital, capital is also a representative person. It comes under personal account. So in a similar way, you should be able to identify all the accounts and transaction. So this is all about types of account. Next, golden rules of account. You have a golden rule or you have a rule for debit and credit. In the accounting concept, I have explained you dual aspect concept. While explaining accounting concepts, I have explained you dual aspect concept. In that, dual aspect concept says record both the transaction or both the accounts. That means one must be a receiver and one must be a giver. That is one must be debit and one must be credit. So in order to debit and credit, you have some rule. You have one rule. So that rule is considered as a golden rule of accounting. So golden rule of accounting is based on the types of accounts. You have three types of accounts, personal account, real account and nominal account. For each and every account, you have two rules, one for the debit and one for the credit. So dual aspect concepts say you need to give effect for two accounts. One must be a receiver and one must be a giver. So for that, for the receiver and giver, you have a rule. So according to that rule, you need to debit and credit the accounts. So the golden rules of accounting is for the personal account, the rule is debit the receiver and credit the giver. So who is receiving? You need to debit the receiver. Who is giving? So you need to credit that giver. Next, for real account, debit what comes in and credit what goes out. So here, if the real account includes all the assets and liabilities. So here, if it is coming in means you need to debit. Debit what comes in. If the asset is coming in for the organization, so you need to debit that. If the asset is going out from the business means you need to credit what is going out. So real account debit what comes in and credit what goes out. Next nominal account. Nominal account debit all the expenses and losses. Debit all the expenses and losses. Credit all the incomes and gains. So all the incomes, all the incomes and gains should be credited. All the expenses and losses should be debited. So this is the golden rules of accounting. For personal account, debit, debit the receiver, credit the giver. Then for real account, debit what comes in, credit what goes out. Then for the nominal account, debit all the expenses and losses, credit all the incomes and gains. So in order to record the transaction, you should know the golden rules of accounting as well as you should be able to identify, you, you should be able to classify between the this accounts. So if they given you the transaction, first you need to classify the transaction, classify the transaction based on the types. So after classify the transaction, then you need to apply these rules and record the transaction. For example, Ram, Ram purchased goods, Ram purchased goods for rupees 1000. So first you need to classify, you need to classify this transaction. Here Ram 
purchased and goods for rupees 1000 this is amount here you have three item first one ram and purchase and goods so here if you consider purchase then ignore this goods if you consider this goods just ignore the purchase so first while transferring while recording the transaction you just consider this rule here first ram ram is a person ram is a person person comes under personal account next purchase purchase is an account of expense so expense means nominal nominal account then goods goods is an asset comes under real account in a similar way sold sold goods to arjun so just identify the account here you have sold that is sales then goods then arjun here sales is an account of income which comes under nominal account then goods goods is an asset so here it is real account then arjun arjun is a person comes under personal account in the same way you should be able to identify the transaction just i will give you one homework interest paid rupees 2000 so identify the items then second one so this two is an homework for you just identify the account so which comes under personal account real account and nominal account so this is the homework for you so this all about today's session let us meet in the next session with the journal entries and financial accounting process so let us meet in the next session until then keep watching thank you